Space weather this week looks a little bit like wash, rinse, and repeat. As we take a look at the Earth-facing disk, right about the beginning of the month, we had this massive coronal hole that rotated through the Earth strike zone, and it sent us some fast solar wind and gave us a bit of aurora. And as we take a look at the sun now, my goodness, it's like a double take. Yet we have yet another coronal hole that's going to be rotating into the Earth strike zone and give us some fast solar wind over the next couple days. So aurora photographers, if you didn't get a chance to get some aurora, we, this might give you yet another chance. This hole looks like to be a little bit larger, so we're going to keep our fingers crossed that it can give us some aurora down to mid-latitudes, at least for maybe a day or so. Now, the nice thing is that it's not the only thing that we've got on the menu. We have a couple big filaments that we're also watching, because if they erupt, they could be some Earth-directed solar storms. And we have a few bright regions on the Earth-facing disk. In particular, region 3153, that is the big M-flare player right now. It hasn't does any, done anything but just pop pop, pop, pop. But it does look like it could be a risk for radio blackouts. So amateur radio operators and emergency responders, be aware we could get some radio blackouts from this region if it continues to grow the way it is. And also it could be a solar storm contender. The nice thing though is as we take a look at the far-sided disk, this is stereo A and it's looking at the disk just a little bit from the side. You can see that big coronal hole. That's the one that's gonna be sending us some fast solar wind here over the next couple days. And again, you can see uh, region 3153 in the south. And you can also see a cluster of regions in the north. They've actually been giving us, or, or launching a few small solar storms, not really big ones, though, but we've got some more regions even behind them. So if we don't get any activity from these regions because they're a bit too busy kind of just popping off instead of giving us anything substantial, we do have more chance coming around, and this means solar flux is going to stay up into the good range, and it means we can't let our guard down when it comes to radio blackouts.